Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome back to another exciting episode of the Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage. Today we're going to be looking at a problem that involves AMT's 1969 Ford Torino Cobra kit. Now it doesn't really matter what release you have of this model kit because many were released over time. The first one starting off in 1968. and this one being a 2006 release, and this problem is still inherent in Round 2's most recent release of this model kit. So today I'm going to be addressing this issue, and I'm going to show you a very quick, very simple way of fixing it. So let's tear the lid off and get our model out of the box, and conveniently it is pretty much all assembled. Now I did start to make this one as the NASCAR version and what the problem is, and this is why I say it's inherent in all those kits all across those years, is the issue of the holes in the body, or sorry, in the chassis to mount the wheels. So as you'll notice here, we have a screw mount and post type of front end with these big holes that would be accepting screws in them. Now, if we take a look at the chassis itself, they've replaced the screws with these little pins. But you could see where the original hole would have been for the screw back in 1968. So what you would do is take your chassis and put it into the body like this. I also have the interior in there, of course. And you would take and, let's see, here we go. Take and align the pins to fit in those holes, just like that. So everything is going fine so far, right? And if you take a look at the rear of the car, you can see where the bumper notch is and that the back goes right across behind the bumper, which is how it would naturally go. Now there is one major issue. So when you turn the car here on the side, and let's just zoom this in a bit, you notice something right away. This hole seems to be a bit far forward in that wheel arch and when you put your wheel in as it would be into that hole and line it up just there you'll see that the entire tire is hitting the front of the wheel arch and if we slide it to the back into this hole and line it up again even without putting the tire there you can see that this hole has an issue of being too close to this edge right here which is exactly what happens in fact i can't even get that rear tire in there because where the hole is it's hitting so before you start getting your hobby knives out and carving this away right in here and up here there's an even simpler fix. And this is why I say this is inherent with this kit. Because if you notice right here, you have the Ford IFS independent front suspension. And what would be happening is there's a shock absorber that comes up top here with a coil spring on it, in, on the real car I'm talking about. And it would go up into this little buttonhole right here and come straight down. Now that shock absorber should be aligned with that hole as it comes down. And you can even see that the bottom where you've got the angle, this block is about an eighth of an inch ahead of that angle and an eighth of an inch behind that angle here. So in order to fix this, get your snippers out cut these two pins off. We're going back to my uncle's philosophy of remove all these alignment pins because nothing lines up. So basically cut these off, sand this flat, which I'm not going to do in the video, just give you a, a bit of an idea what's going on. So sand them flat and with that interior tub in place, we're just going to prop this up here. Bear with me. in there. Okay, so this is not going to be 
totally uh, the way it's going to go because I still got the pins in, so they're holding me up. But now you can see that I've slid this back just a little bit to align that block. Come on, focus. To align that block to the bottom of the, let's call it the A opening, the, f the legs of the A on that IFS suspension. Now it will... Uh, sit there with the edge of the edges of the block to the edges of the bottom of the A. So now by putting the wheel in place, okay, roughly, you now have it, okay, I'm not sure where I am here, <laughs> you know, for alignment, but there you basically have it in the center of that wheel arch now, just by cutting those pins off and sliding it back. Now the beauty of this kit is there are no upper and lower radiator hoses so you don't have to worry about okay now I slid it back a little I have to uh, adjust the radiator hose or lengthen it at one end or something to get it con to <laughs> to get it to connect to the radiator because it doesn't have those hoses so basically that's all you have to do and for the back just by slipping that into the right location you've now made it so that that hole for your axle aligns with the wheel arch and now I can get that wheel in. So that's basically it. Just take this whole thing. Sorry about that folks, my camera batteries died. But in the meantime what I did was I did take those clippers and I did cut those pins off and I did sand them down because it was starting to irritate me a little bit that this thing was riding up on that front. So let's try this quickly again. Okay, hold on. And the interior is falling down. All right. So now we've got the chassis with the pins removed. We'll put that into our body. And now this thing can move around freely. So there we have it lined up. Again, this might be a little bit complicated to hold it in place without gluing it. And this you'll have to glue in because it wants to open up wants to yawn right there okay so now we've got our nascar wheel lined up into the hole it's gonna slide a little but uh I should... okay <laughs> stop that here i got this uh 57 ford wheel i'll just try to put that onto the hole so now you can see that it does line up in that wheel arch properly and there toward the back. Hang on. Impossible to line this up without a metal axle sitting in the hole. But yeah, basically a bit better. So there, you can see how much better that does fit in. Let's get that NASCAR wheel back on there. There it is. Now the only other issue that you'll have is that the back of the, the chassis is now protruding, you know, this way into that rear bumper. So you're probably going to have to take an eighth of an inch off of here with your hobby saw, or maybe a little bit of a curve or something. I would go a straight line. And that is so that this will fit behind that bumper as it should. But if you notice up front, even here, this fits in, the uh, wheel opening fits into the edge of your front fender. Whereas, let's see if I can get this back now that I cut the pins off. There's where it was sitting if you were to put it in the pins. And you can see quite the distance in between here and here. So that's basically the remedy to this situation. Cut those pins off, slide it back a bit, and glue it in to the bottom of those A openings. And you should be able to have your car sit at the proper ride height. Well, not ride height, but with the wheelbase and having your wheels in those wheel arches the way that uh, Ford had intended it originally. So I wish you luck in this project and that you can easily give this a quick fix. The only other area where you might run into an issue is... Oh no, it's not even an issue at all. 
I was going to say the firewall, but the firewall is actually molded to the body itself. So sliding this chassis back and forth underneath to align it shouldn't hurt. It might just get caught at the back of your transmission into the firewall. I'm not too sure, having not done that part of it on the kit yet. But I think overall you should be okay. And even if it did hit in the back, just uh, just open this arch up a little bit with a half round file and you should be good. I hope this tip helps you out and good luck on your fixing of the AMT 1969 Ford Torino Cobra. Thanks for watching.